from this weekend, the world is commemorating the death and the burial of our Lord Jesus Christ. We know that it's not just an event for us. It is an encounter. It is a time of encounter. Now, I was meditating on the meaning of resurrection. The meaning of the word resurrection. Resurrection. To be sorect is talking about coming, being upright. Being able to be on your feet. Alive and walking. So when he's talking about resurrection, it means you were up erect and then you went down. It means you went down, you fell. It means there was no power for you to come up. And then something made you to resurrect. Resurrect. So it's a weekend where anything in your life that has fallen down has to surrect again. Did you hear what I'm saying? This is a weekend where the Lord is visiting people. The power, the same power that surrendered Jesus Christ from the grave after three days. The same power that surrendered um, Lazarus after four days. The same power that was able to bring him back to life. The same power that changed a soul to a Paul is here this weekend to change your story, to bring you back on your feet. The Lord is changing and going to change your story, your marital story, your business story, your life destiny, your ministry. is taking back power and you are going to stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Mighty in battle, Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Mighty in battle, Amen. Amen, 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 Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, declare him as the Lord, strong and mighty, mighty in battle over your finances, over your family, over your children over your marriage hallelujah over this nation over every province over Gauteng over Northwest over Mpumalanga over Free State over Eastern Cape Northern Cape Western Cape hallelujah over every province over every nation in Africa over South Africa over Eswatini over Lesotho over Botswana, over Angola, over DRC, over Cameroon, over Cote d'Ivoire, over Tanzania, over Kenya, over Uganda, over Nigeria, over Liberia, over Ghana, over Morocco, over Egypt, over Sudan, over South Sudan, over Ethiopia. Over USA, over North America, over South America, over Asia, over Europe, over United Kingdom, over Australia. Hallelujah. The Lord, strong and mighty. Amen. 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 Father, we bless you and we thank you 
for this whole time that you've been with us and we thank you even in this time that you'll give us understanding and revelation and wisdom and thank you Lord God that you provoke us even in this time that we'll move from one level of glory to another level of glory. We honor you and we bless you and we thank you Father for provoking us to become those polished arrows that will be in the hands of the mighty warrior and that we will not miss our target. None of us here. We honor and bless your name in the matchless name of our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, our King of Kings, Yeshua HaMashiach. We thank you. Amen. Come on, clap hands for Jesus. It's your appointed time for you to connect to purpose, to kingdom mandate, to kingdom agenda. Hallelujah. And I'm going to be continuing with the teaching on gates, praise the Lord, that we can get understanding and revelation. Church, let me say this. I know we love to shout and et cetera, and shouting is good, but there's a time for shouting, and there's a time where we actually have to do, be ye doers of the word. And so the word that I've been sharing with you is a word that is an activating word that will cause us to move from one level to another level. Because for years, how many know that we've been shouting for years as the church? And in fact, not only have we not been making progress, the, the government has been oppressing us even more. Trying to shut us down, trying to say you cannot worship God, trying to change legislation, the hate speech bill which we had to fight against so hard. Because what the government wanted to do from 10 years ago, these are some things you're not aware. Because there are lawyers who are fighting. 10 years ago, they wanted to pass a bill called the hate speech bill. And in that hate speech bill, they had defined that whatever you and I preach as ministers of the gospel, when we preach, they've defined it as hate speech. If you preach against immorality to say this, this promiscuity, they say it's hate speech because of the equality bill. And these are things that you, you may not know because we are sitting in, in, in the courts going there. You know, in the court, you cannot go to court and, and, and start to say, Kurendele reboshaka tarabosa. Pastor Boni, it doesn't work. In the court, you must begin to give them their principles that they understand. That's why Moses understood Egyptian. He went to speak Egyptian to them, but they could not understand what he was saying. So God will place you in the world to understand the worldly system, but not to become the worldly system. He will put you in Babylon like Daniel to sit at the king's table so that you as salt can become a colonizer and influence and impact them, but you are not to compromise and eat their food. So you understand the Egyptian structure, the systems. You cannot confront and challenge a system that you do not know from within. May God cause the sons of God to arise and possess and take the gates, the government gates, the business gates, the communication gates and say we are here. We will not cede the gates. I don't know. Today just my spirit is agitated, church. It's agitated. It's time. It's time to sit on those gates. The gates determine the strength of the city. When the gates are unmanned, the gates will be invaded by the enemy. And so God is calling the church, and I believe especially this church, there's a grace upon your life, there's a mandate upon your life that God will call people from Cameroon to come and start and establish something here. It's not just. And the grace that is upon this assembly is also an apostolic grace and that's what God God will never call me anywhere where there's no apostolic grace there's an apostolic grace in case you didn't know let me let me declare it to you today there's an apostolic grace upon this house there's a marketplace grace upon this house that's why even many of you are professionals coming in here because the biggest transformation that you can make church is not gathering here. Let me tell you, when you gather here, according to Hebrews 10.25, how pleasant it is, you know, when, when the brethren come together and, and it, it's, it's wonderful. Yes, but you are not gathering here for change. You are gathering here for yourself just so that your spirit man can be provoked, just so that you can be ministered to, the word will provoke you, just so that you can fellowship in the presence of God. There's no change that comes here. You're just gathering here to be provoked. But when you leave here is when you must now become the salt. 
Here when we gather, we are just gathering a salt. You are salt, salt, granule of salt, granule, 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 granule. We are like salt in a little salt shaker. <laughs> 